So we are going to hear an optical engineering story today. We're going to read about Omar, whose brother is an optical engineer, and we're going to find out what specifically he does. And different optical engineers do different things, but we're going to find out what Omar's brother does. And this story actually takes place in Egypt. Do you know anything about Egypt? Yes. Um, Egypt is like a place, uh, it's kind of like the desert. It is in the desert, yes. And I actually have a map for you right there. Here's the Nile River and Cairo. And this is right here, Luxor, is where Omar lives. So if you look at that, there are pyramids in Egypt. Inside the pyramids are tombs where kings or, or uh, people who were in the leadership positions way back when were buried. And they were buried there with all their stuff because they thought they brought their stuff with them when they died. Inside these pyramids are beautiful paintings about that person's life. Now, if you go in there, it's very dark. And people had to figure out ways to get light in there so people could see the paintings. But over time, what do you think has happened to the paintings? They start to like fade out. Yeah, they start to fade. Um, and that's where Omar's brother comes in. Okay, so let's find out. Feeling invisible. I stood in the back row of the dancers on the stage, slowly swaying side to side in time to the music. My classmates in the front rows were concentrating hard on the complex steps of the Nubian dance they were performing. Small spots of light danced across the wall in sync with the movements of the dancers in the front row. Um, that was kind of like shadow. And that was reflection again too, wasn't it? It's from the shiny trim on the costumes, I whispered, trying to keep my lips frozen in a smile. Have you ever tried to do that? talk and think maybe no one will notice I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. See, I gestured with my shoulders to Ehab. My team is designing a coating, a thin clear layer to go on the glass, Zane said. The technology will block out some of the light. Technology? Is it a high-tech coating? I asked. A technology is anything designed by people that helps solve a problem, Zane said. The coding is technology because it helps fix the problem of the tomb pictures fading. I bet people would be a lot more upset if those paintings faded. They can't be replaced. Did you hear anything about light in there? There were a couple of things. Yes. We were talking about when the light too much light gets on pictures, it starts to fade. Yes, so light can fade things, right? So this is what we know about light. It can fade things. Zane is working on something that he hopes will do what to light? Right, so there are things that can block light. And I think I also heard, way back at the beginning, it can be reflected. That's it for this moment. Let's hurry up and get back to where he is. Yeah, great, I said. Zane was going to get to be a star again. Do you understand how Omar might be feeling about his brother getting to be a star? Yeah. He might be feeling left out because he hasn't been a star. He's, he wants to be a star too and he might be feeling left out. He, he's, he's, he's feeling kind of like he's, he's not getting attention. Mm -hmm. For what he's doing, yeah. right? Why don't we split up the scenes? A few people can decide which parts of the stage should be lit up for each part of the performance and imagine how we should set up the lights. And then we can all put together a plan for the whole show and test out the system during the last practice. In a flash, small teams formed and the room was buzzing with their voices. This could work, I thought. But there was only one big worry hanging over me. Once we had the plan, would Akil and I really be able to put it off, pull it off. 
So I have what I have for you, and these are going to become a part of your folder. If you go back to your seats, I'm going to give you this packet, and the first page shows the map. And right here, this little section is Egypt, and we are right over here. We're quite far from Egypt. And once I've done that, I want you to just be thinking and writing about any time in what we've read so far where you saw light being reflected, or you imagined that light was being reflected. Oh, uh, oh, now I see it. That star thing on her. That's Second. probably the reflection. Yeah, now I get it. Mm. I don't see any, anything else that's reflecting on mm. her. Okay, so you choose a word from up here, and then you read, like, the de right. definition mm. of it. Like, you read this, oh, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. like, oh. that word means something. Mm. design progress. Mm. No. I kind of think intent. Intent. Wait, what's this word? Intensity. Intensity. Okay. Let's okay. write it. Yeah. Okay, can we stop for a minute and would you look up? Raise your hands and I'm going to call on you real quick and you tell me what are the things that you saw first in the story that uh, light was being reflected on? Um, the necklace. Right. Wyatt. When the light was shining, when they were letting light in to try and discover the paintings. When the light was, was shining, shining in. Tell me more about that. Well, they, they had mirrors, to re so light was shining, to re and it reflected off the mirrors into, into um, the, the, like the tombs to see the paintings and discover them. Now... I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to say a definition that I know you know. And it's something that you did, we did um, last time we met, not today. And that one is number four. Anything, any system or process that people create and use to solve a problem. Which one of those do you think that is? Alan. Technology. Ex Good for you, technology is the one. So for number four, let's write technology. Number two, I would wait, but boy, number three, field of engineering where people solve problems involving light. We did hear that today. Has something to do with Zane and what he does for a job. Yep. Uh. Optical engineering. Optical engineering. Good job. My name is Sandy Brown, and our school is BFA Fairfax. We're a K-12 all-inclusive school with about 800 students, and we are located at the foothills of the Green Mountains um, in Fairfax, Vermont. Everything we do is reflecting what was happening in the book. We are doing what they were doing and, and practicing the concepts that they were learning about also. And the challenge, they go about the steps, the engineering design process, and that's what the kids were doing as well. So we could, we could relate. This is Omar, a character from the book, was in the planning stage, and so we could be also be in the planning stage. I noticed in the past, for the students to listen to the whole book in one sitting, it's hard for them. So that's where I made changes, where I would see where there, in fact, the book, the um, teacher's guide recommends that if you do want to stop, you stop at chapter four. And that's what I did. And I timed it, and it was only, the first sitting was 15 minutes. And um, then I looked very carefully through the plans about where there the next chapter would fit within the kit. The other thing that I appreciate about the EIE is that they, there are, the storybook, the pictures, just the pictures, are on their website. So I can go to the website and bring up that, the pictures of the storybook, and as I read, 
show the kids just the pictures, and that keeps them interested in the story as well.